Aren't you tired of all these useless attempts of doing pseudo push-ups and getting ready for the planche but nothing's working together? And no matter how much you try, you keep trying and trying and trying and you keep failing. You, you jump up, you do the planche, and you keep falling. There's no results. Well, today I just wanted to share with you the exercises I used to get to the planche. Even though it's not perfect, here's what I did. Hey guys, you wanted to see a planche video? I'll tell you the truth, I don't have a perfect planche yet, but I'll tell you I'm, I'm pretty close to it. I could do planche, straddle planche push-ups, but I can't do a planche. <laughs> it's pretty funny. But I'll show you some things you can do to get to a planche because um, I've been training and it's really helping out. Well, the hardest part, the hardest part is to get to this point where you could just hold yourself off, uh, off, up, up off the floor. If you got this part, then um, it, it goes much easier from there when you can hold yourself in this position for a while. From there on, it's much easier because. Uh, this is what people struggle with the most, is just to get into that stage where you're strong enough to hold yourself up, up, off the floor. Because then, all it's, it's all a matter of lower back and shoulder strength from there. Well, your whole body's working when, during the planche, but uh, those are the main muscles. It's your shoulders, deltoids, which are shoulders, and lower back. I know you guys heard a million times in different tutorials that when you're learning a uh, full planche, you gotta start with your arms straight. And I'm sorry to make it too repetitive, but I'm gonna repeat the same thing again. Make sure you practice it with your arms straight, because I was learning it with my arms bent a little bit, and now I can hold a planche with my arms bent. But as soon as I go into straight arm position, I fall right away, because my shoulders aren't, aren't strong enough. Because uh, if your arms are bent a little bit, it goes on your tricep muscle. And my triceps are pretty strong, but my shoulders aren't that strong to hold myself up like that so make sure when you're training for planche so you can hold yourself straight with your arms straight make sure when you're practicing your arms are always straight uh, I'm gonna show you one exercise what are they called pseudo push-ups or something like that that they do with your arms right here those don't really help I'll, I'll tell you that they do help for getting strength but for the actual planche uh, they strengthen the muscles but they don't I don't think they help you that much because you're not picking up as much weight as you should be Basically, you gotta get a wall. I don't have a wall, so I'll use a tree. Go down, and uh, when you're down, uh, lay down, and make sure your arms, uh, see where your waist is? Put your arms a little bit behind your waist, both of your arms. And make remember, remember that place. Now put your arms in this position where your arms are just under your waist, and go into a handstand. This exercise really helps. Now from a handstand, you go down and uh, your feet still touching the tree, try to, try to do a planche. Basically like that, only you hold yourself longer. I'm just a little tired, didn't get, get enough sleep. Might redo this. <laughs> well basically, show you again. Arms just below your waist, handstand. And you go down into planche. Arms straight at all times. That's a really good workout. Um, but that's what I'm showing you after after you learn the little one where you can hold yourself off the floor. To learn to hold yourself off the floor, seriously, all you gotta do is just keep trying. But what does help is uh, if you can find some bars or uh, two chairs if you're at your house, get two chairs, put them next to each other so that you can put your hands on them, on two chairs and space in between. So it's going to be almost like bars. So basically you try to pick yourself up. Go like this and try to pick yourself up. And when you're doing that, your shoulders are going to get strong enough and all the muscles used for a planche uh, for you to hold yourself like that. After that stage, it's, um, I'm not going to say it's much easier because it's about the same, but you get the point. 
probably tried this before. Another, after, after you've done a few of these exercises where you pick yourself up, and when you can hold yourself for a while, after you master that, where you can hold yourself out the floor for at least, I'd say, 15 seconds, when you master that. Next exercise that really helped me, other than the little wall stand planche thing, I have no idea what it's called. This exercise, I think, was like one of the most helpful exercises I've ever tried. Get yourself a chair that's not too wide, something that can be your shoulder width. Not wider than your shoulder width. The wider it is, the harder. Um, so something around your shoulder width with space right here. You can try dip bars, uh, you can try so much different things. I've tried chairs, I've tried uh, you know, the little piano stool that you sit on to play piano. That thing works perfect. Basically, this is how it goes. Arms straight at all times, like I said. Now, uh, watch, watch what I'm doing with my legs. Start off with your legs like this, and this is what you're doing. See, my arms bent because uh, I need, I need, I need to train for it. And the uh, flexibility for legs counts a lot in this. So always. Try to stretch your legs apart as much as you can. If you could do splits, that's perfect. You're gonna learn planche much, much faster like that. So I'll show you again. Try to do it. See, my arm is bent. My arms are weak. I'm still training. I could do five straddle planche push-ups. Starting from bent position, I go up, catch myself back in this position. I probably can't do it right now, but. If I do, I'll post it at the end of the video. Thanks. See, when I did that, my face got really red because I wasn't breathing. Breathing is very, very, very crucial. Breathing. Any of these exercises you're doing, you gotta be, you gotta control that exercise enough so you can breathe normally throughout the exercise. Like um, when I showed you the little one with the arms bent like this, the regular one. I could breathe normally with that one. That means I can move on to the next one. If you cannot breathe normally in one, one of these exercises, do not move on to the next one. Uh, let's say you're practicing the tree one. You cannot, you cannot breathe normally with that one. Uh, try the one with the two chairs or the dip bars where you pick yourself up, um, pick yourself up to hold and just keep doing that exercise until you can breathe normally while doing it. When you can breathe normally, uh, either move on to this one where you, you're doing straddle or uh, to the tree one. They're about the same, the same uh, difficulty level, I'd say. Uh, they're not easier or harder, although the tree one might be easier. I mean, uh, a little bit harder. But make sure you breathe normally, because if you don't, it's really bad for you. you not, it, uh, one of the main um, fail, why people fail at stuff, is uh, you know when you breathe, oxygen goes to your muscles, and your muscles feed on the oxygen and the sugar in your muscle. And that's why the muscle works. And when the muscle is not getting enough oxygen, you are uh, you lose a lot of strength. If you don't breathe, you do a lot less. And it might seem like, oh, I'm stressing, so it's it's working. But actually, when you're not breathing right, uh, you're losing a lot of potential that your muscle has. The same way you guys would practice for a front lever, um, front lever. If you want to do a front lever, you go into the position, you go back. This is the same concept, only with planche. Works out just the right muscles you need for the planche, shoulders, uh, some chest, uh, lower back, everything.
Hey, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want. Um, I have a donation box on my channel, main channel, and description. Thank you. Bye.